So during the lockdown period, maintaining school community um, has been more difficult. Uh, and there will still be instances going forward where for certain staff, students uh, or families, uh, being as active or present within the school is perhaps not possible. Um, and this could be the case for a student who, who has an underlying health condition and can't attend school for safety reasons. Um, however, there are ways that Office 365 can, uh, can include those individuals and still help you to, to create uh, the culture within, uh, within Teams and within Office 365. So Kat, how would we advise that schools can make use of, uh, of some of the uh, technologies in Teams to create this culture? Yeah, I think it's a very good question. And one of the things that you mentioned there was there are some students and some staff who can't return um, back into the school. And that's either, you know, um, some Ill health issues that they might have. There are local lockdowns um, that we're seeing in some areas, um, you know, and even if some of the students are off sick. One of the key things is to have a platform that we're using when we're in the classroom. Um, and also then what we can have as all our students who maybe aren't in the classroom are working from you know one platform they have access to all of their kind of homework and worksheets and ask questions um all in the same tool that they were using in the class so i think it's very important to incorporate this um in the class while we're in uh, schools not just uh, when we're remote working and there's a couple of things that are quite nice um some of the key functionality in teams to to help encourage this um, so obviously we have in Microsoft Teams our Teams area where we'll see the list of classes um, and maybe some teacher teams that we've set up. Um, and if I was just, for example, to open up um, our algebra team, um, we can see here that there is a space um, for our students to ask questions and collaborate. So even if we are in the classroom, we can still start using Microsoft Teams to um, hold quick polls. Um, so, for example, if I wanted to get the opinion um, from my class, I can do really quick polls um, using either Polly or using Microsoft Forms, and I can do that when I'm in the class. And it's just a nice kind of quick, what's your question, option one, option two, and then the students at home can see that and be involved. So we're not kind of, um, you know, keeping anyone out of the loop of anything that's going on in the classroom. Um, and there is the nice kind of area here, which we have um, for things like asking questions and replying to things. Um, and if you do have a student who's off work and um, not off work, sorry, off um, school because they are sick, then you don't have to ask someone to take homework to their house or anything like that. And um, we can just have an area like this called homework help. And in the files, we can put all of our worksheets. Um, you know, we can post different videos if someone has missed um, a class or anything like that. So it's that kind of one place um, to access everything, whether we're working from or learning from home um, or even when we're in the class um, getting involved uh, with some stuff as well. Um, there is also um, the option here to add more social teams. So you can see here there's a film club, you can have book clubs, and it's just about um, creating that social community, um, you know, as well as a learning community. And you can do this for students, uh, younger, older. Um, you could also do this for staff and teachers as well. Um, I know there's plenty of uh, staff and teachers who do like a good book club. <laughs> um, so it's nice to have a space um, to create a little bit more of a community there.